Um, good morning, everyone. Good morning from uh, Edmonton. And um, I'm wearing red because I want to say first, happy Valentine to all of you. And uh, um, yeah, so <laughs> anyway, sorry, I'm, I'm a little bit um, nervous yet. So I'm going to share the um, to you guys the building the mindset of a leader. Um, for me, I believe that um, each and every one of us are leaders. I think um, I believe also that uh, Xperior is meant to create uh, leaders in the financial industry. And um, leadership is everything. And um, leadership determines where the organization or where the company will go and with what will be achieved and how it will be done. Um, we are really lucky. I think we are the luckiest people on earth to be in a part of Xperior because we have great leaders. The leaders like um, uh, leaders who are always thinking of our future. Like uh, we have the ELC and we have the, um, the company led by our um, coach, uh, Jamie and also Leanne. And uh, we are thankful. Uh, me personally, I'm so thankful that uh, I moved to Xperior. For me, I always tell uh, that uh, experience is a saving grace. It saved my life. It saved my, my financial uh, um, position in the industry. Leaders, leadership is actually a process and not a position. We don't hold a formal leadership to be a leader. The good news about leadership skill is can be learned and improved by building our mindset to be a great leader. That's why it is very important important to build the mindset of the leader. So this is just some uh, some mindset that I, I already um, uh, put in my system so I can be a leader to my team. The first one is uh, the proper communication and ability to listen because um, because as a leader, um, we have to have the uh, as it is important to have a constant and open, honest and ongoing communication with its of, of your team or our team. We understand that everybody is busy with their jobs and family. Like in my team, most of my team are all part-time. But as a leader, we need to give time to call, to message our team, to inform and update everyone so that everybody will be on the same page. As an, an AD agency, Aside from communicating to our group chat, I always post all our reminders of trainings and meetings and calls and webinar through Zoom. I would call them individually and personally because um, sometimes uh, I would call them. I you just have to say, you know, how are you? How's things going on with you and your family? Some of them are still uh, having two to three jobs. Some of them are going to school. And sometimes we don't really talk about uh, business right away. All you need to do is just connect, communicate. Sometimes uh, we need to have that ability to listen to them because as a leaders, we need to to listen to them. Uh, personally, most of my team, I know them individually. I know I know their family. Family, I know what they are doing. I know what they are into, and I understand them. So for me, it's always good to have the ability to, to listen. Before, um, I just want to say what I want. I want the things that I, it has to be done, you know. But uh, along the way, I've been in the business for the last ten years, eleven years now. I learned. I have. I learned to be mature enough. Uh, to to give time to listen to our to our team because you you always have that mindset to listen to them because sometimes when I talk to them it's not about the business but before closing of our, what we are talking they would tell me oh ate uh, I have a client oh ate I have this prospect oh ate I have this uh, this uh, appointment can you help me so it will go to go go back to the business so uh, for me. I always have time to communicate to them and listen to them because um, we need to do it with sincerity. Because you know what, when our team we they feel they feel good, they will do good in the business also. So that's how what that's what I always do. I communicate and have the ability to listen to them. Okay, so the next one is uh, 
the mindset that I always practice is have a vision for you and your team. So every end of the year or start of the year in our use uh, agency, we always, Darren would always uh, encourage us to have a vision, to have your goal. Because as a leader, we must have a vision. We where, where do you want your team is going? Where do you want the business is going? And for yourself also. So uh, have a vision for your team, where they are going and how they can accomplish the things they delivered. They can deliver, believe or they can achieve. So do you have a vision? Do you have a goal? Do you have a short-term goal, long-term goal? Do you have a goal in the next three months, in the next, next six months? in the next 12 months, right? And in the next uh, three to five years. So there must be a concrete and written goals for you. So you, you can have the focus, the plan to execute the goals because a leader must be in similar vision with, with your team. So to be a leader is to lead your team where they want to go, what they want to achieve. So starting the 2021, where are you going? What is the vision for you and yourself? Because I always inculcate it to, to my team that um, you, don't, you don't stop being an SFA. You don't stop being an SM. The, the ultimate goal, at least, is to be ED in this company. So you always have that, that uh, goal to finish it or to work for it. Because as a leader, we are always here to guide and help our team. Because uh, whatever they accomplish is also our accomplishment. And, um, and uh, the next one is do it as a first, do it first as a leader. I think this is very important because. Uh, to be a good leader, you need to be a great follower. When I started in the financial industry, I, I, I was so coachable. I follow every bit of the training that uh, my trainer told me. I was in every convention. I was the first to, to register in the, uh, in, the, in the convention. I will always be first in the meeting. And uh, yeah, as Aristotle said that he who cannot be a good follower cannot be a good leader. I... As a leader, you need to be a good follower. I always, uh, I'm always a good follower for my, uh, I know I am a good follower. I follow the leaders. I follow the training of Darren. I follow the training of Onkar. I, find, I follow my uh, um, ED, uh, Neely Makang. I follow the trainings of um, uh, Jamie, of course. For me, it is, uh, my, my week starts on Monday, CEO tap. My, my, my week is not complete without the CEO talk with Jamie. So I'm always there. Um, we have the Tuesday um, uh, advisors and skill knowledge training with Darren. Every Wednesday, first week and third week of the month is with Jamie with the ED call. Uh, we have the Wednesday night BTO training with Darren. We have Thursday morning prospecting with Darren. We also have the Thursday BTO with Jamie with a special guest. And of course, we still have um, a Friday morning with Onkar with the 3X. And Saturday, we still have the training in the morning. So we are lucky that we have all those trainings for us. The only missing thing is you. Where are you? Where are you in those trainings? Because I always um, uh, remember Darren said that what you ever learn today, you need to train tomorrow. If as a leader, I cannot do it, how can I lead the team? How, what, what can I teach them? How can I lead them that me, myself, I don't know anything? And I always tell them that um, we, this, this business is like monkey see, monkey do, right? There you go, monkey see, monkey do. They say that when, when, when you are five minutes late in the meeting or the Zoom meeting, your team will be late 10 minutes. Isn't it right? If you don't show up in the meeting or any training for in the first one meeting in a week, your team will not show up, will not show up in the next three meetings. And if you are um, absent for a month, I think in the in the meeting or the training, your team will 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 not show up, will not show up forever. So monkey see what monkey see what um, monkey see monkey do. So for me, um, I know I, I'm still learning. 
I'm I'm still uh, doing everything to my best of my ability to be a leader, to be a good leader, to be a great leader someday. Because when I when I started in the financial industry, I see great leaders, I see great uh, people that I know someday I will be like them too. So you cannot uh, also uh, do it first in numbers and production. Um, I always have my personal uh, numbers because for me, I cannot ask something from my team if if um, if I cannot I cannot show them. Um, I think um, budget was telling earlier that uh, or Ryan like you cannot ask or you cannot uh, ask your people if you cannot show it uh, for yourself. You cannot show the numbers. You cannot show uh, the leadership for your for your team. And um, yeah, yeah, we just have to work and uh, we need to work and uh, give the results as a leader because your people will follow whatever you do. So that's very important. Do it as a first. Do it first as a leader. You have to show the leadership. You have to show example to your team. And um, uh, sorry. Also, um, as a leader, have a mindset of winning. Focus on winning as a team. Winning takes time and effort, and it isn't always fun. But great leader does it anyway, isn't it? Um, for, for myself, um, I would like our ED agency to be always in the scoreboard. I always want to be uh, at least on the top. Uh, top. There are so a, a lot of people now ha really, and I'm happy for it that everybody is really showing up the names in the scoreboard, but it all, it's always my habit to be always in the scoreboard. I take pride of that, uh, of that numbers in the bulletin because um, it, it, it's a pride for our team. It's a pride for our agency that um, at least my team can really, can, I can inspire my team. I can inspire people that we are doing something. It's not that we talk, we talk and talk, but we don't do anything. We don't have results. So for me, I always fight for it. Uh, this, uh, we've been always good in insurance, but this time uh, we have with our team to do like more on investment because I told myself that we are leaving a lot of uh, money uh, on the table. We're giving away lunch <laughs> to others. So one might as well take everything. So I always take advantage of all the trainings of investment from Darren, of course, from Steve, Kevin, and the own car. We have all the great leaders training with us for investment. So we um, take advantage of this training. And my team is already uh, learning. And we already have, um, last month, we have um, two, at least 200,000 investment. And now we always have 100,000 in investment what, that we don't did before. So we can always learn as a leader and because um I know with the constant training, we can always have those skills and knowledge and we can have the confidence to do it. So um, leaders focus on daily activities, appointments, closing accounts, training with team to get results for productions and of course to move people for promotion. The success of the team is the success of the leader. It is indeed a win-win situation. Yeah, great leaders focus on winning, right? They are willing to work harder and put more effort than other. Winners focus on winning, losers focus on winners. It is true, right? So moving on, I think I, I will finish it uh, faster. So moving on, another mindset of a leader is taking uh, take ownership of your business. What is it? A leader must understand how to run a business. It is a business. This is a business. Own and run your business. Take care of the books of your business. Taking care of the books of your business is taking care of your clients. Be responsible and disciplined to pay the expenses that comes in running a business. Sometimes I was really wondering that they, they want a business, they want to make money, but they don't want to, to pay 
plugins they don't want to pay rent so that's not a business right so as a business uh, owner i mean as a leader you have to take ownership of the business be responsible because it comes with an expense you make money you you pay your bills right e- even your plugins and uh, yeah budget was telling about the 38 dollars you have to pay for it because it's the business so that's another one that uh, we have to have in the mindset Uh, take ownership of your business and um the other one also is uh i think baljet also mentioned is the self improvement right because uh as as you mature as you go along with this business you have to have that self imp- you cannot stay the same in the sense that you have to develop the improvement mentally physically emotionally reading books success books push you to grow change the better and be motivated to continue achieving goals i start i start reading books that can help your mindset to be a great leader why because it's give you confidence knowledge to become good leader and help you become the better version of yourself so for some um books that i read um I, when I started in the financial industry, this uh, Think and Grow Rich book was introduced to me before. Then it was just lately this year that uh, Darwin asked us to read again. So I was able, actually, I lost my first copy, so I have to buy again. Because this one has the, they said you have the magic formula for success and achievement. It helped leaders to do what they have to do and how to do, how to be successful. And it starts in the mindset. it start with you in your mindset to be to think and to grow rich so the other one also is this one the magic of thinking big because um this talks about uh you, you are what you think you believe you can you can uh, succeed then you will this is a very great book also so i can recommend that one and um i have i have this book uh, long before with the five levels of uh, leadership by john maxwell this one also tells us that no matter the position of level of leadership it will help us to raise our effectiveness and improve our performance so these are great the books that can help us mentally uh, you know with what we have to decide and uh, to be strong as a leader and uh, lately uh, darwin um, asked us to have this uh, fanatical prospecting and it's really it really helped us because this is why you learn exactly how to prospect proper prospecting how to fill in your pipe pipeline because in our business prospecting is the core is the foundation and the heart of our business we need to fill in our pipeline because there's no input no output in our business okay so um So this is the last one and um as a leader have the mindset of uh being strong stay strong be positive and have fun because um in in our business like this time of pandemic leaders need to be strong physically emotionally and mentally um our team uh always see us as very strong as sometimes in our team they thought that we are the uh, 411 you know 411 they, they call you everything is the what is this how can you can do this <laughs> they they always call uh, me for something like that like uh, they ask, they they expect you to know everything to do everything something like that so we have to be strong and we have to be positive and we have to have fun so um recently uh, i just uh, have uh, you know i i started to have like um um like a uh, 6:30 a.m. club with my uh, with my team this maybe two weeks now that uh, i mean two months now we decided to have a daily 6:30 uh, walk in the mall if you see my facebook every morning at 6:30 to 7 a.m. we are in the mall uh we have this uh That's me and Marites, uh, one of my SM Marites Snackbell. We always have uh, the um, the walking time because uh, during this time we need to have that uh, energy. We have to have that uh, connection um, because we talk about everything. We talk about family. We talk about work. We talk about how to strategize our business with exterior. how to do prospecting closing account and how to do our training so it's also one way because uh, uh for me 
um, leaders are we are not their boss. We are not their boss. We are just the leaders to guide them and help them. So I, for me, my team are my extended families. Uh, uh, I know them. I I care for them because uh, the only uh, I always tell them that uh, I always tell that um, you know they don't really care how much you know. They only care that how much you care for them. That's what they want to they want to know. So always surround yourself with positive thoughts and have a positive uh, uh, people around you. Have activities like this that can go you together with your team. Stay positive, stay energetic. Don't forget to have fun. And along the way, you will get all the goals that you and your team is uh, is uh, aiming for. So that's uh, for me now. And um, thank you so much, Guy. Enjoy the rest of the, the day and have a powerful convention till the end of the, today. So, and uh, take care and uh, happy Valentine's Day. Thank you. Thank you.